Hit Film Sensei here. Today we're going to talk about the things that you will need to successfully make YouTube videos. The first thing you're going to need is a camera. A camera. The second thing you're going to need is this. A audio recorder. And the third thing you will need is this. This is a microphone. Actually, I'm just kidding. We're not going to talk about any of those things. We're going to talk about how to make this. A text bubble that will follow whatever you want it to. Hit Film Sensei here. Today, in this video, we are going to talk about how to make a floating text bubble that follows whatever you want in the footage. So I'm going to take my raw footage and I'm going to bring it down and I'm going to drop it in the editor timeline. Then I'm going to scrub through it until I find what I want. I'm going to use the microphone. Okay, so the microphone, I bring it up, it says... What need is this. And that's about where it is. I'm going to use my slice tool. I'll right click and then I'll click slice it to make two different pieces out of that one piece of footage. And then I'm going to go until I want the microphone bubble to end. This is a microphone. Okay. Oh, maybe about there. Okay. So I'm going to right click on it and slice it again. Now I'm going to zoom in on the timeline using this little slider here. And this is the piece that's going to have the bubble in it. What I'm going to do is right click on it and say, make it into a composite shot. And I'm going to call that composite shot microphone. And just because I'm going to use that word a lot, I'm going to copy that. So click OK. Now I have this very nice uh, piece of footage where the microphone is going to have a text bubble on it. Okay, the first thing I need to do is I need to track where the microphone is and I'm going to have the computer do that for me. So I'm going to open up its properties under tracks. I'm going to hit click this little plus button and then you can see everything is basically set up the way I want. I don't want to necessarily mess around with anything else, but you can see I have my little track boxes here. Okay, so I'm going to click on them and I'm going to bring them on over here near the microphone. I'm going to use my mouse wheel to scroll in right click if I want to slide and move around a bit. This point right here is the point that we want it to actually track. Okay, so I'm going to put that right over the very corner of the microphone. This is a nice kind of contrasting thing. And I'm going to tell it, I want you to use the data within this box to create, you know, or find that every single time to put that point in. And I want you to find that data inside this bigger box. So you can kind of you know, make these bigger if you think you're going to need more, make them smaller if you think you'll need less. Okay. When you've found that, then you click this forward arrow, track forward button, and it will track that. And it should do a pretty good job. Let's see. And that is absolutely perfect. And I'm going to rename my tracker, clicking F2, microphone. There you go. All right. Now I'm going to create a new point layer that I'm going to use to transfer that data to. So I'm going to new layer point and that point layer, I'm going to F2 and call it microphone. Okay. And then under the track raw footage again, under the microphone tracker, transform is the purpose. The layer will be to the microphone position and I'm going to click apply. Okay. So now if you were to look at the microphone position, you can see that that point is sitting on that microphone and it goes wherever the tracking data tells it to wherever I had the microphone go. Okay. And if you actually open up the transform properties, you can see the position points are laid out and it tells it exactly what positions X and Y coordinate and accesses those are on where the microphone is. Okay. Now all I have to do is create my little bubble with the text in it and then parent it to that point. So we're going to start by creating the bubble first. I'm going to click on this A icon or the actually the text bubble first. I'm going to click on this A icon that's for creating text and I'm going to drag where I would like to put my text. And then I know it's going to be shocking, but I'm going to say microphone here. And if I want to change any of the text properties, I sure can. If I want to change the color, if I want to change the uh, font or the um, 
uh, the, the size of it, or even the justification, I'm actually going to go ahead and center that. Otherwise, I think I'm okay. I won't probably need to do anything along those lines otherwise. Now I need to create a background where the bubble is. So I'm going to do that by creating a new layer. It's a plain layer, and I'm going to call it microphone background. Click OK. And I noticed that I, I left it blue because uh, blue is my favorite color. Um, now I'm going to drag it down below the text so I can see where the text is. And then I'm going to use a masking tool. This is the square masking tool. And I'm just going to draw a mask around the letters. OK. And then under the masking properties, shape, roundness, I just want to make it a little rounder. So I'm just going to kind of move that up until it seems about right. OK. Then I will go ahead and under the masking tools, I'm going to use a freehand mask tool and I'm just going to draw a little arrow that sort of points at the uh, microphone. So now there's my little text bubble. From here, it's very easy. Oh, I need to rename this because if I don't, I will forget what it is, right? I just need to parent both of these, the microphone and the microphone background, to the microphone point position. So I'm gonna use my shift key and double and click so that I have both of them. And then I'm gonna open up this little box right here and say parent it to the microphone point position. So both of them are now parented to the microphone point position. And now when you watch, this is a microphone. It follows very nicely. And now if I go out to the editor timeline and I play that whole section, it will automatically translate itself right into that piece so and the third thing you will need is this this is a microphone actually I'm and that's it so if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below the thing is it's ridiculously easy to do you can have multiple things you see it all the time in television shows and whatever please think about subscribing if you like the kinds of things we have going on here otherwise thanks for watching